Wow, wow, wow. Oh, there he's out again. Dang it, I'm sorry. Oh. That's a really big fish. Well, Boundary Water trip, July 2023. Foggy morning heading up. It's uh, 5 a.m. right now, right between Tower and Ely. We have a 24 mile paddle this morning. Just before six o'clock, rolling in. Looks like a couple people beat us. Let the adventure begin. So today we are starting right up here on Lake One, and we are ultimately going to <laughs> paddle through Lake One. Take a couple portages, lake two, through lake three, lake four, and then it continues on to Hudson Lake, Insula, and then Ellis. Well, I'm getting a little head start on Derek and Ed. Ed forgot his gloves back in the truck. Might have to stay ahead of him this entire trip now. It's going to be, uh, Super calm all day today. We're gonna have a little bit of cloud cover, fog for the, the first couple hours, and then that's all gonna burn off and be sunny skies. Should be pretty smooth traveling. If you're soloing it, definitely recommend the kayak paddle. You can cover a lot more ground that way. Versus Constantly correcting, only doing one side at a time. Kayak's the way to go. You can just give it heck and see how far you can get. The goal being 24 miles today. Feel good now, but we'll see how I am in about five or six hours. All right, let's go. Okay, Pete, it gets a little narrow up here. Just keep looking for rocks. Hey, Jimmy Nugs, remember when we flipped the canoe on this, tried to run this rapids back when we were 18? That's it. All right, well, we are three and a half hours into the paddle today, and we just got to Hudson Lake. So we have a somewhat longer portage, the longest portage that we'll have of the trip coming up at the end of this lake. And a little breeze is kicking up, so that's nice. It's uh, mostly sunny skies now. Not a whole lot of shade for the doggos. Oh, Pete, we found a little spot way up front there. A little shade from the yellow pack there but we'll get to this next portage and we'll throw a couple sticks for them and let them get in the water and cool off a little bit well just a little afternoon update we are officially six hours into it i just got off of insula lake and i'm making the final push to get into alice uh things are going pretty well pretty sunny could use a little bit more cloud cover but that's all good we don't have much of a wind today and uh, I'm taking occasional breaks to let the dogs get a drink and jump in. That wasn't smooth.
Whoops. God dang it. No way. Oh, dang it. Stay. Pete, no. Oh, no. Get it. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Pete. Bring it here. Good boy. Bring it here. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. What? Well, that saved me having to go across to get my canoe. Good boy. That's my little man. That's my little man. Cool. Awesome. Good job. Whoa. Whoa. I, you don't want that, do you? Huh? Crazy girl. <laughs> Figuring out where they're camping. Yeah, I'm just pulling into the lake right now. Okay, we're, we didn't get the campsite that we were at last year, but we're on the one to the left of it. Copy. Is it a sand beach? Yeah, Kyle, you got it here. You'll see there's a green tarp at uh, the site we were on. We're the beautiful sandy beach in the corner. It's an awesome site. Sounds good. I'll be there in uh, probably 20, 30 minutes. Okay. Are you... Have you hit the lake yet? Yeah, I'm almost on the lake now. Excellent. Oh yeah, you're gonna love our campsite. Uh, a little bit further from the big reef, but not bad. Okay, bye-bye. Later. Well, they definitely got quite a ways ahead of me there. <clears throat> I really slowed down after I got off of Insula Lake and just been taking my time now But that's all right. We're here I think uh, if they're a little bit uh, north of where we were last year, that'll be 24 and a half miles. So It's enough, uh, enough paddling for one day for me and the dang deer flies are out harassing my babies Yeah, not good Nice sight. Oh, it's a beauty. You gotta be. Uh, What's that? Huh? I really slowed down there. Right, you gotta be exhausted. Yeah, long paddle. Long paddle, but nine hours did it in. First fish of the trip. It's a big smallie. Oh. <laughs> Pete's not helping me at all. My goodness. Well, there's a wild card. It's got a nice sucker. We can smoke it up the way. Over the fire. Well, this is Pete trying to get away from the black flies. Kind of gets in the way of fishing. Sit. Girl.
Well, just playing a little fetch with the dogs. Figured we'd uh, take a little break. We've been out fishing for about two hours this morning. I uh, saw a nice little spot to gather up some firewood. Right over there. We'll probably go out fishing for about another hour or so and then head back, have breakfast, then head back out in the canoe for um, probably enough time just to catch enough for a little walleye dinner. And then uh, we'll go back out fishing this evening. All right, it's uh, Tuesday afternoon now. We, uh, we did really well this morning with just uh, jigging worms and leeches this afternoon. It's about uh, one o'clock right now. I'm switching it up. I'm gonna troll some spinners. And I uh, just dropped it down between, uh, there's this little island here and a point here. And it was surprisingly deep. It was probably like 18, 20 feet deep. And I had a, <laughs> I had a big fish on right away. So I'm just gonna work this area that I'm in right now and uh, see if I can turn up a nicer fish. Everything that we've been catching has been pretty consistently in that 14 to, to 18 inch range. Um, I did pull in a, a 20 and a half inch this morning. So we'll see what little trolling action can do. And uh, after this, I'm gonna make my way back towards camp and we're gonna catch a few walleye for dinner and, and have a good fish fry. But a beautiful day, cloudy, dogs are hanging out. We think Pete, yeah, we're gonna get a big boy. And uh, Derek and Ed are fishing a, a little sunken island right now. So stay tuned, I think something's about to happen. Okay, just hooked into one, it's definitely a bigger one. I think. Did it pop out? Oh, geez, it did. All right. There it is. All right, well, it's Wednesday morning, about 8.30. We uh, slept in a bit this morning. We had pretty good thunderstorms late night, early morning hours, and that stopped about seven o'clock. So what we did is just got up and had breakfast, and now we're gonna go do a little fishing. And then Derek and I plan to head over to Fish Dance and check out the, uh, the pictographs and probably troll some spinners around and see if we can get into some walleye over there. Nothing, huh, yet? Oh, I think I see them. Pretty faded. Well, we have arrived at the pictographs on Fish Dance. We just looked at a uh, the first set off to the right of this, and then we noticed there's more. Yeah, if you want to bring me right up close to this one. This might be some right there, but it's too Yeah, definitely there's some there. These ones are pretty well faded. I can see a handprint there. Um, and then a couple more up there. I did print out uh, this from uh, traditional history of uh, the Ojibwe Nation. It's a book you can find on Google and uh, to kind of help interpret what we're seeing out here. All right, so on this first one, this next one we're gonna look at, you can see woman and then uh, sun. And then it looks like a, uh, a moose. But right up here, there's two people in the canoe up here. There's the woman right there, and then possibly a moose right there. And then there's uh, some pretty faded ones. The sun is right there. It could be that sun, or if there was a line underneath it, according to this, it would be uh, fire. But yeah, I don't know. Made a day trip. Yeah, that's cool. Need to see. Dogs like it. And then right below those last pictographs we looked at, 
there's some pretty deep that's perfect you can float right in front of these a lot of deep scratches right in here all the way up so i don't know the significance of that or what uh what that's telling us you can even see they kind of pounded out a little divot right there and yeah, lots of scratches on here Derek's got a big pike. And I saw your line way out there. I'm like, how is his line snagged way over there and mine's back here? I know, I was wondering that. Too. <laughs> you noticed that too? Yeah. I'm like, I'm snagged in the middle. Like, why? And that was way up to the side. And it's like, how in the world did his line get over there? <laughs> yeah, and then it, it just started coming. And then the giant surfaces? Oh my. Awesome. Give me that net. Can I use your net? Trolling spinners, baby. Yeah, if you want to handle it or else I can net it. Well, yeah, I'll try to get it up to you. It might take a little bit. Yeah, that's a big fish. But he was coming up kind of... He's kind of... I don't know. I think there might be a fight ahead of us. With a fish that size, there usually is. I'm going to try to clear out my area in the meantime. I'll just try to calm him down. Oof-da. Big boy in the house. Oh. That, those are the treats when you come into the boundary waters in these little lakes. Coming up. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, there he's out again. Dang it. Sorry. Oh. That's a really big fish. Um, I'm going to have to try to net it. And then just kind of lift it in the boat, maybe? Yep. So I'm going to get all my stuff out of the way. I could maybe try to help with the paddle. My goodness. That's a big fish. <laughs> oh, what do I do? There he goes. Um, the, the nice thing you got going, it, it's hooked in the corner of the mouth. So it can't really, unless it does a weird twist, it shouldn't be able to cut the line with its teeth. About two and a half minutes since I started recording. Good thing I checked my GoPro to see that the battery was dead. Hold on, I'm kind of in the zone. Derek's in the zone, baby, with this giant pike. Wow, 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 wow. I can leave my GoPro on and I can take a still image. From my, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Got it. Yeah. I do. That's a big fish. Okay. Whoa. Can you see up, where up, it up, is? Up, up to the zero. Whoa, on this. that's over 40 inches. That's what I wanted on Dang. this trip. That's what I told my dad. A 40 over a 40? Yeah, because I got my bass here, I got oh. my walleye here, and I got my pike. What bass? 20 inches? Yeah, last year with you. Just a and 20 a 30 inch walleye, so you've gotten all your big ones. Awesome, man. Congratulations. Wow. That's probably about 42 inches. Wow. If that's the case, you've caught a bigger northern than I ever have. Thanks. Well, it's Thursday morning and it's going to be my last morning of fishing out here. I'm probably going to take off this afternoon and paddle onto Insula somewhere. The, uh, the 24 miles on Friday sounds like a little bit more than I want to take on. So I'll get part way out this afternoon and then paddle the rest of the way tomorrow. But we're gonna try some fishing this morning and see if we can get into some walleye again. It stormed pretty good last night, but we have uh, a decent looking morning. Winds out of the west, not bad. And hopefully the walleye are biting. It's just, uh, it's about 6.30 now. It stopped raining around 5.45 this morning.
perfect smallmouth for the dogs. I got the dogs dinner too. I got the dogs dinner. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Real nice walleye. There we go. Another big boy. All right, well it's 4.30 Thursday. I just left camp, left Derek and Ed back there. I uh, definitely decided that 25 miles tomorrow is going to be a little bit more than I'd like to take on. So I'm going to paddle six to between six and ten miles this evening, find a campsite on Insula, and uh, and go from there. And then in the morning, the morning looks perfect. Temperatures are cool. The wind is calm, and. Uh, yeah, definitely favorable conditions for, for paddling the final, whatever it ends up being, 15 to 20 miles or so. But right now, it's decent. Wind is picking up out of the northwest, and I can see some rain up to the, uh, the northwest of me. So hopefully all that stays north. There is just enough service out here to be able to check your phone right at the campsite, not out here, but uh, for Ely, which is the closest forecast area that I know of for, for out here, it's uh, basically a 15% chance of rain throughout the, the evening here. So, see how it goes, just had a good fish fry. We're ready to put on some miles, aren't we guys? Oh yeah. There's some rain right there, perfect. <laughs> All right, almost an hour into the paddle since I left camp. The rain just stopped. It was just a uh, steady drizzle for... Oh, can't go that way. <laughs> Wrong way. Well, that cost me a little bit of time, not really. But anyway, that drizzle just stopped. I'm uh, working my way down the river system here. And it was actually kind of nice and cool with that rain and the cloud cover and breeze. It's completely calm now. And uh, it looks like <laughs> the clouds are about to disappear and it'll be full on sun for a while, it looks like. But that's all right. It's uh, creeping up on 5.30 right now. I got a little ways and I'll get to the short portage between Ellis and Insula. And then it'll be just seeing how, how the wind's doing out on the big lake. And I mean, I'm gonna try to get as far as I can, but I also wanna, <clears throat> but I also wanna have the tent and camp set up by probably eight o'clock at the latest. By nine o'clock, the uh, mosquitoes are out in full force. And that is not fun. So, I hope to be uh, tucked away by that time. Wow, well, mama let us get close to those ducklings. And here's the approach to Insula from the northeast corner. 
What a perfect night. All right, it's 740 right now. And we just got to basically would, would be the first campsite that you would approach if you were um, coming from Hudson Lake into Insula. It's just uh, nestled right up here. Little spot to uh, pull a canoe in. Figured I'd make the push and go all the way across. The portage is going to be just back here in the morning. Uh, it's late enough where I don't want to try to tackle the portage. And it's a beautiful evening, so we put in a good three hours and 20 minutes. So we're going to get camp set up and do a couple things and then probably tuck in before the mosquitoes come out. Those damn black flies have been bothering the dogs the last good hour and a half across Insula, so they're ready for a break. All right, we'll go get camp set up. Awesome, Pete just went in the water before we were going to go in the tent. Pete, get out of there. Hey, you're a good girl. All right, so just for fun, if you're ever coming into Insula, running out of time, got to find a campsite. This is what you're uh, <laughs> facing here. I suppose if you have decent pads, a person could set up a tent right there. And then here's a fire area. I mean, it's uh, July 27th today. Doesn't look like anyone's had a fire here for a very, very long time. There's enough room for my two person tent here. And that's about all we got. So not the greatest of sights, but if you're in a situation like me where you basically just need a place to throw a tent for nine or 10 hours and continue on. This site will do, unless you have a bunch of people with you. All right, I'm gonna jump in the water quick and climb into the tent. The mosquitoes are already out and about, so. All right, I'll see you in the morning. Well, it's exactly six o'clock. Beautiful morning, nice and calm. We're gonna have sun, but it's cool out. Nice and cool for travel. Hopefully I can hammer this out in about six hours. Get the heck out of here. Be another good trip in the books with a little Isla girl. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get packed up and start paddling. Good boy, good girl. Very well behaved. Well, if he's gonna sit up there like a person, might as well have a paddle, huh, Pete? Pete, you wanna get a paddle up there, buddy? Help out a little bit? Well, we're in the final stretch here. Been going for exactly four hours, and I think I'm Probably within about a half hour of entry point one. Between three hours last night, five hours today. It's gonna put me right about eight hours to get from entry point one to Aldous Lake. <clears throat> Mind you, I had a pretty good, but uh, an okay tailwind this entire morning. The wind is maybe about four or five miles an hour, but it was to my back, which definitely helps out. All right. Well, I forgot to video the final getting out, but uh, yeah, it took me exactly eight hours to paddle from Alice to Lake One Entry Point. Uh, that was three hours, just over three hours yesterday and just under five hours today, so not bad. I think the, the big thing that I had was that tail one coming out today. But that's another trip in the books. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.